say. Can you see by the dawn's early light? Hey, Us Weekly. Hi, Us Weekly. Hey, Us Weekly. Hey, Us Weekly. I'm Kat Osterman from Team USA Softball. My name is Rye Benjamin. I'm a foreign and herbler for Team USA. I'm Brooke Rabatou, and I am a rock climber. Yeah, I'm Jade Carey, and I'm a gymnast for Team USA. My name is Kaleo Kanahela McClay, and I play sitting volleyball in the Paralympics, and I'm on Team USA. We are Garrick Meinhart. I'm Lee Kiefer. We are members of the US Olympic fencing team. I'm proud to be on Team USA because of the people I get to stand alongside. I'm definitely proud to be on this journey. I'm, I'm proud of the sacrifices that I made and I'm, I'm proud of the, the hard work and the time I put in. I'm proud to be on Team USA because fencing in America has come a long way and being able to represent our country and the huge development that we've shown uh, is really special. I'm proud to be part of Team USA because we represent so much more than ourselves and our family. We represent everybody back home and we get the chance to showcase our sport while we represent the greatest country in the world. Do I have a celebrity crush? Oh my gosh. Jason Momoa. Um, and my husband knows this, so that is all well. And Billie Eilish. I feel like everyone my age is obsessed with her, but she's definitely a girl crush. It was Kendall Jenner, but she started dating Devin Booker, so I was like, you know what, it's all good. Garrick is from the Bay Area, big Warriors fan, so both of us love Steph Curry. <laughs> we have the same celebrity. I don't know if he's like that. <laughs> My go-to was Zac Efron, and that was, you know, a while ago, like I would say when I was younger, but honestly, so many woman crush, for sure, just like even Simone Biles, she's so cool. I don't have any celebrity <laughs> crushes. She's already enough of a celebrity in oh, the fencing okay. world for me. And it's not necessarily like a motivational quote, but it's something that I think about. Uh, thankfulness lifts my head. So it's in every moment to just be thankful and thankful. thankfulness takes me out of kind of my, my closed mindset or my frustration and just like reminds me to be thankful for where I am. I tell myself all the time, just, you know, recognize what you have to do and just do it you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I love that quote because it's just that like, you, you're never gonna succeed if you're afraid. I really like she believed she could, so she did, just because for me that helped me a lot when I was starting to do bars again, because I took a time off on bars. So I just knew that if I believed I could do it, I would eventually get there. I just try to remind myself to be adaptable because in my experience, you like can't recreate the perfect scenario to like win the competition. Like, there's always going to be some factor making a little difference. So when you remind yourself, like, okay, today I'm gonna like fight really hard and be like super gritty. Like the next day, like maybe I'm gonna be like happy or like relaxed. I think just keeping that flexibility has been very important for my success. I'd be the laughing emoji. I feel like that's the emoji I send. I send the most. I really like the emoji with the little hearts on its cheeks and face. Just the like, yee. Well, I guess the gymnast emoji, the one like doing the cartwheel. <laughs> I use the emoji that's like a lot, <laughs> like that awkward emoji. I can actually touch my tongue to my nose, which I feel like is not really a talent. I don't know if this is a talent and I don't know if I can show you, but I have very strong toes. <laughs> I, what? They're like excellent for pinching people. Dexterous. And they're probably stronger than some people's fingers. <laughs> I like to sew. I made pants out of like just these material that I found, which is cool, and like transformed jeans and um, jean jackets, kind of anything. I just, I don't know, it's fun to like create things, I guess, and then wear them and, you know, flaunt them. I learned to play the guitar during lockdown last year. I got pretty good at playing Wonderwall. I definitely have nerves before competition. I think some of it is needed, you know, to have a little like, ooh, little fire under your belt. <laughs> I do get a little bit nervous, but I really just try to focus and remember on my training in the gym and don't do anything extra and don't do anything less. Just really try to do what I do every day. In college, this usually, we run like maybe in the afternoon, sometimes like late in the afternoon. TBS would be on and friends would be showing. 
So I'd always watch Friends before I compete. And it was like one of those things where it's like, all right, it's taking my mind off, like thinking about my race. We benefit in the fact that we get to the field usually about two hours early and the team has batting practice. And that's a time where I don't have to be super focused. So even if I'm starting that game, I can use that time to kind of either calm down or just start to connect with teammates. So usually I use that time to um, just having some easy conversations. I just really like to feed off my teammates energy. Like, that'd be my goal. I just want to go middle face right there. I think it was literally like, yeah, like that's kind of, it doesn't look as cute as that. It's like, it's not cute. It's like a, no teeth, just like. Mine would involve just like tears. <laughs> Just, I'm a big crybaby, so instantly pouring waterfall. I would have a waterfall Jeez. too, but mine would be sweat because, <laughs> because I'm like the old guy on the team now, so I would have had to work really hard for that gold medal. <laughs>